All right, I think I share the same upsetment with all UFC fans right now because of this massive news story that is taking place. Ian Gary has been a topic of conversation for the past few weeks, and many people were looking forward to his UFC 296 fight, but it is now canceled, right, guys? It is officially canceled. The fight is off just a couple days before the fight. He will not be at the press conference. That's why he was not media day today, and we're going to talk about it in this video. What is going to happen next? Is there going to be a new fight replacing that fight? Is Blah Muhammad going to step in? Well, I'm going to talk about all that and more, but first on remind you guys hit the subscribe button like comment and share we're trying to 20k by the end of the year you guys are the best fan base in mma so now you guys are going to help me with that goal and ian gary right ian gary has been talked about like i said for the past couple of weeks right it all started with him and the mma guru going back at each other where basically it got exposed that ian gary's wife had made a book dedicated to taking money from young athletes wag style is something you can spot a mile away it's a purposeful attention grabbing polished look so ian gary was getting clowned all over the internet while trying to sue other ufc fighters like sean Strick for basically attacking Ian Gary and talking about the situation. A lot of people wanted karma for Ian Gary. A lot of people wanted to see him get beaten up by Vicente Luque, a guy that I thought could beat Ian Gary. I made the prediction video yesterday and I said, look, Ian Gary, I think, absolutely has a chance at beating Vicente Luque, but I think Vicente Luque might be just a little bit better. Well, unfortunately, it just came out literally a couple minutes ago. It is official that, yeah, Ian Gary is not going to be fighting this Saturday and it's not what you think. Your immediate thought was, yeah, Ian Gary is definitely lying. He just doesn't want to go to the press conference. He doesn't doesn't want to face the people booing him because the whole situation, the whole controversy going around him. Well, we have some more details. But how did this story break out? Jesse on fire, another MMA YouTuber. Credit to him because he apparently was the first one to report this. And Chael Sonnen had basically picked it up and made a video talking about how he knew about the situation, basically alluding that Ian Geary had a very serious sickness, but also saying that his baby also might be sick and might be hospitalized. At a hospital himself, he was not feeling well. And he has taken his child to the hospital right now, uh, the ER. The child has the same symptoms that he had. That is the way that this is being told. Now, about a couple hours went on, and I kept trying to find out, is this official yet? Is there some news? And I was expecting maybe tomorrow morning we'll find out if this is true or not. But Dana White decided to post this video on his Twitter, basically confirming all the rumors and saying, yeah, Ian Gary has the flu. And basically that that flu turned into pneumonia, and now he is very sick and cannot fight. All right, guys, I know it's out there. There's some speculation that Ian Gary and Luke is off. It is true. It is. Um, Ian Gary started with the flu that turned into pneumonia. So that fight is off and is not happening. It is true. Now, I'm super disappointed that this fight is not going down. Regardless of, I don't care what the truth is. I don't care if he pulled out because he was sick or he wasn't. Either way, I'm still disappointed. Wanted this fight to happen. And it was a good matchup too. But is this legit? Is this real, guys? I'm going to say I do think that this is real. Dana White himself did come out and confirm this. And Chael Sonnen also said a very similar thing. It happens. And people are getting sick all the time. I mean, I don't know about you guys. But I'm hearing stories of so many people getting sick. It's flu season. The sicknesses are going around. COVID's going around. Everything's going around right now in this type of year. So I do believe it. I think it is possible very disappointing nonetheless but if he was lying about it i mean it would make sense i think this would be a good move for ian gary to maybe pull out because listen although the fans would probably be against him we kind of saw what patty right after he got injured he kind of took that year off and now the heat is off patty now so maybe a little time off for ian gary maybe if this fight is rescheduled in a couple of months maybe that's actually a good thing for ian gary maybe this is all blessing in disguise and maybe people will get over this whole controversy and i just think a lot of people are having a hard time believing it because ian gary has been missing for the past few weeks right the guy has barely said anything about this whole situation other than just a couple vague tweets privating his instagram all right ian gary spoke to ariel hawani this just came out while i was editing and ian gary said i have pneumonia they tried everything to help me in the end ufc doctor said there's no chance i can fight the ufc doctor made the call this annoys me more than anyone i want to fight it's my favorite thing to do ariel also said at the end that he sounded very bad now that might all work out for ian gary but what about vicente luque right vicente luque now has no opponent did media day did all of this training camp for nothing. I mean, there's a couple things you could do, right? You got Bilal Muhammad entering as a backup opponent for the main event between Colby Covington and Leon Edwards. There is a possibility where we could see Bilal Muhammad weigh in, Vicente Luque still weigh in, and maybe they make a matchup between him and Bilal Muhammad. Now, here's the main problem, right? These guys have actually not even fought once. They fought twice. First time, if you recall, happened at MSG, right, where Bilal got knocked out by Vicente Luque, and then in that rematch, Vicente Luque lost to Bilal Muhammad in a pretty dominant fashion, and I just don't think that there's necessarily a clamoring for that 
that fight. So I think that fight is better off just not being made. But it does suck for Vicente Luque. Now look, it is not done yet. I mean, there are other welterweights weighing in on the card. You never know what welterweights are going to fall out. For all we know, Shavkar or Wonderboy could miss weight. There's a lot of different opportunities for Vicente Luque. I still think he should weigh in because there's so many welterweight matchups that maybe he could just slide into right away. However, though, I do think that Kevin Holland is trying to get this matchup. Now, if you look at Dana White's Instagram where he posted this, you can see the top comment is Kevin Holland basically with the phone emoji, basically trying to say, hey, give me a call. I will fill in short notice against Vicente Luque. And he also tweeted about the situation dissing Ian Gary. Now, Kevin Holland in the past has trash talked Ian Gary, so I'm not surprised by this. But why is he so active? Why is he tweeting this? Why is he commenting the phone emoji? To me, I think that Kevin Holland is willing to step in on short notice. And a few things about Kevin Holland, right? Kevin Holland has stepped in on short notice numerous times. And the guy really is not that big, right? You could probably cut weight to 170 rather easy. I mean, the guy apparently walked around at 185 when he was competing at a middleweight. So he could probably wind up cutting that weight and making the fight. However, what's more problematic is the fact that Kevin Holland, right now it's Wednesday night, he has to weigh in on Friday morning. Now it is possible, however, is he really going to be able to fly to Las Vegas, cut the weight, get his team together all on short notice? Keep in mind, this is also nighttime. So basically he doesn't even have Wednesday. He basically has just all day Thursday to book a flight, get there. My guess is that this might not be working out as much as Kevin Holland might want to step in. And I just think that him and Kevin Holland would make sense. I mean, this would be Kevin Holland's opportunity to get a guy ranked above him after losing to Jack Della Maddalena in a very close fight. Jack Della Maddalena is getting Gilbert Burns, it turns out. So it's kind of in a similar realm. It would help Kevin Holland get back on track if he does beat Vicente Luque, which is a thousand percent a winnable matchup for Kevin Holland. However, it's going to be tough without a training camp, and that would be a fun fight to add to the final pay-per-view of the year. But my guess is that that probably won't happen. It just seems a little bit too short notice. However, you never know. I don't know when is the earliest flight to Texas. Maybe if they get this done tonight, they get a 6 a.m. flight or something like that. Start cutting weight on Thursday. Maybe they make it a catch weight. You don't know. I'd assume they probably would have to make it a catch weight, right? But we're going to find out regardless. And for Ian Gary, I mean, what does he do after this, right? Ian Gary has had the worst couple of weeks of his professional career. There are going to be a lot of MMA fans still trying to say, yeah, Ian Gary just ducked Vicente Luque. Ian Gary was trying to duck the pressure of all these things that have been going on in the past week, right? But at the end of the day, I do believe this. This is very disappointing, especially for a guy in Vicente Luque that was literally there on media day. And apparently this is why Ian Gary didn't show up to media day. It might be a blessing in disguise for the guy. But for now, I think he's going to have a very rough couple of months, man. I mean, I'm starting to feel a little bad for Ian Gary, dude, because I know everybody's going to be in his reply saying how he ducked Vicente, how he ducked the fight week. And I know a lot of people are disappointed too, because the press conference now has lost a massive, massive attraction, right? Most people are looking forward to Colby, Leon, and everyone going at Ian Gary. Unfortunate news. So the fight is out. Uh, unfortunately, Ian is, from what I know, he is, uh, he has some kind of illness. I don't know if he's in the hospital or, or how he is. I wish the best. I wish recovery for Ian. But even though Ian Gary has pulled out, I'm still excited for UFC 296. And if you guys are as excited as I am, then I suggest go clicking the videos on the screen right now where I predict all the fights. I'm talking from Shavkat Rachmanov to Stephen Thompson, all the way to Leon Edwards, Colby Covington, Patty Pimblett. All these fights, if you guys want to hear my prediction for them, I'm putting them on the screen. Some of them have their own video. Some of them are just in a big compilation. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best fan base in MMA, and I'll see you guys in the next one.